Welcome back to the Beehive, everybody. Today we have a really great show regarding a rider who won three of the first five United States Speedway Championships. He won the 1968 championship at the Whiteman Stadium, 1970 at Costa Mesa, and 72 at Costa Mesa. This guy was the rocket and he was fast. And his name is Rick Woods. Rick was born June 11th, 1948 in Orange County, California, and he had this love, this love for motorcycles, and he became a pretty good rider. As a young rider, you would find Rick Woods on a flat track or TT track. He'd be racing, locked up handlebar to handlebar with all the legends. He was at El Toro and Ascot. He was just at all these races, and he was a young rider. Rick was just a naturally talented rider. No matter what kind of motorcycle Rick rode, he was good. He was just a natural star. Rick got his first break early in the 1967 season. He learned to ride Speedway. There was a shady promoter named Dude Criswell. He came to the flat track races and he promoted Rick Woods and other racers, Sammy Tanner, Sonny Nutter, all these flat trackers. They were invited to come to the Whiteman Stadium to start racing Speedway in the 1968 season. Rick joined his flat track brothers over at the Whiteman Stadium and he just was a good rider. Rick was a immediate star. There was other stars too, so it wasn't only Rick Woods. But the, Rick Woods was a quality young writer and he was doing really well. Rick had a little start. At 1967, he started riding and practicing the Speedway bike. By the 1968 season, Rick was a good rider. He was winning scratch races, scratch mains, and he was a star rider in the team events, and Rick Woods was really a developed rider. However, the crowning event of 1968 happened October 11th, 1968, at the Whiteman Stadium, when Rick Woods competed and won his first and the first United States Speedway Championship in the revival of the modern era of Speedway. Sliding Sonny Nutter was second place. Jack O'Brien was on the podium in third. And the following year, the 1969 United States Champion, the future champion at that time, Steve Bass. He was a distant sixth place, but he improved the next year. It was the early days of Speedway, the revival of the American Speedway is where Rick actually got his first start in Speedway. Rick was so good that if you beat Rick Woods, you felt like you're beating the world champion. That's what Michael Bass said about Rick Woods. He was hard to beat and he was a good writer. He was truly one of the best. He was tall, he was skinny, he had fearless character. He would ride that Speedway bike fast and hard and he was destined to be a legend in American Speedway. Rick Woods was one of the first poster boys of American Speedway. And this guy was fast. He was courageous. He was tall. He was skinny. He was like a bean pole and he was fast. And Rick Woods became the first American Speedway champion. When you raced Rick Woods, you had to put on your race face. Why? Because you knew when you're racing Rick Woods, you're racing one of the best racers in Speedway. It wasn't until the early 70s that Rick Woods, he teamed up with Ed Schaefer. Ed Schaefer was the owner of Speedway Research. Ed Schaefer was one of the first geniuses of engines in the Speedway, the early day, modern era of Speedway history. Ed Schaefer was truly an amazing mechanic. When I was a young rider, I went to Ed Schaefer's shop, Speedway Research, off the 55 freeway in MacArthur Boulevard in Costa Mesa. I knocked on his door and he opened the door and looked at me, who are you? And I said, Ed, I'm a Speedway rider and I'd like to take a look in your shop and just check it out. And he said, I don't want you in my shop. And I said, please, Ed. 
And he said, all right. So I, he let me in his shop and I got to see Rick Wood's beautiful bikes. They're perfect, no mud on them. He had the engines torn apart. His office there, the whole shop looked like a doctor's office, ready for surgery. It was clean, it was very beautiful, and Ed Schaefer was a true professional. The early day skills of a writer like Rick Woods and the genius mind of Ed Schaefer together made a pretty good team. And that's why they won all those Speedway championships in the early 70s. You had Rick Woods and Ed Schaefer. When Rick Woods won his second United States Speedway Championship in 1970, we knew at that time that Rick Woods' legend was cemented. And Rick kept that streak alive a couple years later in 1972. He won his third United States Speedway Championship and his last at the Costa Mesa Bullring in Costa Mesa, California. Rick Woods was a legend. He was an inspiration to all that knew him. He was larger than life. He was a man that was brewing with confidence. Rick Woods was just a superstar. Perhaps the greatest early day speedway riders in the 70s and 60s was Rick Woods. Future speedway world champion Bruce the Fox Penhall. He was inspired by Rick Woods. His father, his papa, he went ahead and sponsored Rick Woods in the early days and Rick Woods was on fire and Bruce Penhall said, you know what, I think I want to be a speedway rider because of Rick Woods. He was just fearless. He was an incredible rider. He got on that Ed Schaefer two-valve alcohol nitro-burning speedway bike and he just burned it up. There's no doubt that Rick Woods will go down as a speedway legend. Some even said he's the speedway god of the United States revival of speedway. He was that good and Rick Woods will always be an inspiration to many riders. After Rick's retirement from Speedway in the mid to latter 70s, Rick went ahead and started working for boats and he was an engine builder too, I think for cars and he loved working by the ocean. I saw some articles, some newspaper articles of Rick Woods. He was working on the boats. He just loved the boats. Like many of the Speedway riders who retired, but I'm not one of them. Rick didn't like motorcycles. I like motorcycles. And Rick didn't like to ride motorcycles much. He was just a racer. And just Rick liked to race. And he didn't like to just ride motorcycles. As Rick got older into his 50s, he started suffering from cancer. And he had these health problems. And he had chemotherapy. And he was fighting it. Rick Woods was a fighter. And he had his last speedway ride at the Industry Hills at the Grand with his brother, his younger brother, Gene. The Speedway world was really shocked that somebody so fearless and so great as Rick Woods would come down with cancer. I mean, cancer sucks. And Rick Woods was fighting it and nobody expected that. When we think of Rick Woods, we think of invincible and fearless. And Rick Woods had this cancer, he fought it, he beat it. Nobody expected this to happen, but Rick Woods had that. Everybody was so happy that Rick Woods fought and he conquered this cancer and everyone thought he was out of the woods. But Rick Woods was not out of the woods. On September 1st, 2012, suddenly out of nowhere, Rick Woods had a massive heart attack and passed away on the spot and it was just a shock and blow to everybody. The Speedway world was shocked and heartbroken at the passing of Rick Woods. And fellow writer Mike Bass, he said that I am very sorry to hear that the passing of my rival Rick Woods. Our hearts and our prayers are with Gene and his family. Never like to hear about the passing of a member of the Speedway family. Even Rick was a great rival of mine, my brother in the 70s. Over the last 20 years, Rick and I, we had spoken several times on the telephone and we had great conversations about the past. 
Also, one of the greatest Speedway riders in American history was Bruce the Fox Penhall. He said this about Rick. Rick was my inspiration, my mentor. I would have never ridden Speedway if it wasn't for him. And he was the inspiration of my life. My life has been blessed because of Rick Woods. And the last five months, I believe this is when Connor passed away. Uh, my life sucks. Our heart aches. R.I.P. R.W. Number two. Number one, my hero, Bruce Penhall. We send our condolences to the Woods family and just the painful loss of their beloved brother. He was a son. He was a father. He was a good guy, Rick Woods. And we send our condolences to the Woods family. Rick Woods touched so many people's lives. Rick Woods, he was truly one of the early day greats. From 68 to 72 in that five year span, he won three United States Speedway Championships. But more than that, he was just a fantastic guy. He was an inspiration to many, and he was truly a champion at heart. If I could describe Rick Woods in one word, it would be legend.